majority of my adolescent life, um, from my inception of when I was born up until my teenage years, my family and mostly my mom, my mom died when I was 12, we was on public assistance, um, welfare, okay? Back in the day when you had the book of stamps, there were colorful money. Now, if I can recall, we're the only country in the world that actually has a separate currency for welfare recipients or people who live off of government assistance. We have different food that they used to give us in brown boxes to let us know that you are poor. We had different currencies as, as far as money. Then you got EBT to let us know when you go to the store to let other people know that we are poor. Life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. Now I wish that the US can change like some of these other countries in certain aspects where we all use the same currency regardless of what level we're on. We either I'm poor or you're rich, we're still using the same money. Maybe we're using pounds or euros or francs or denarii or rand, like in South Africa. Like, can we just all use the same currency? But life isn't fair. You wanna be sitting on your couch watching your soap operas or watching your game shows or day court and you want somebody to email you a job. You want somebody to knock on your door and say, hey, here's a million dollars. The sweepstakes. Life isn't fair. That's not America, guys. Wake up. This doesn't really happen in any country. They just gonna go around knocking and giving out jobs. You have to get, get your grind on. Are you serious? Hey, listen, if you don't think you have a future in doing anything and anything at all, serve your country, right? Some people say, oh, well, I'm not serving this country, but you're living in it. Okay, serve your country. How about that? Join the military. How about this? They're gonna give you a place to live, they're gonna give you food, they're gonna give you shelter, and they're gonna give you a paycheck. And during that process, they even pay for your college. So is there really a good excuse not to have a college degree? Is there a good excuse not to have a certification? Life isn't fair, but there's, we have all of these programs and systems that you can actually get into Whether you're Nike a lot, like I don't want nobody yelling at me, I don't want to be, really? Your parents used to yell at you and somehow, someway, somebody's always telling you what to do. Why not serve your country for three or four years and get something out of it? I'm just saying that's an option. You know, you have Job Corps, you have Peace Corps. They have all these different programs for you to actually get into, but you just think that life is easy. Life is hard, life is a struggle. And for people who have always been doing well because they always made the right decisions, some of them will say, Ross World, you are wrong. Life is easy. The only thing you gotta do is go to college. What if I don't have the money? Well, the only thing you gotta do is fill out grants and take out loans. What if I don't have the credit because my parents use my credit? What if I don't have, I mean, there's so many variables, right? That can go actually wrong. So for people who have always had it made, who always done the right things, who always made the right decisions, then that doesn't apply to you because you're in a different boat. But don't think that life is easy and just because you do nothing and you get a check sent to you every month or money or credit to your EBT card, that it's over, that that is your life. Don't you have a purpose? See, life is hard. Life is a struggle. But life can become easy when you do the things you need to do in order to be where you want to be. Now, granted, if you just want to just sit on your couch and watch all these shows that does nothing for your life, then maybe we need to ship you off this country. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the point is, is I know everybody want to have a purpose in life and everybody want to be productive. But if you keep thinking that things are just going to be given to you and you're not doing anything for people to give you something, then you're absolutely wrong. I'm here to tell you that life is hard. Life is a struggle. But life can and will be easy when you do the things that set yourself up for success. Nobody ever gets anything unless it's inherited or passed down or in a will free. Right? We love the word free because the first thing you ask, like, hey, man, everybody's going up to so-and-so's birthday party or going to the cookout or whatever. The first thing you say, hey, uh, do I got to pay anything? Or is it an interest charge? Or... Is there food there, right? We always ask those questions because like, if it's not food, I'm not going. Why? Because you want to eat for free. Yeah, we like free. It's okay. It's okay. I like free. <laughs> Indeed, I like free. But when it comes to your life, ain't nothing free. There is nothing free. You have to work for everything you have 
unless you're just privileged, gifted, or just lucky, okay? And you're talking about where well, I'm just gonna keep betting on the lottery day in and day out. Guess what? Majority of people go broke from playing the lottery. That one guy who played one time, who won $500 million, you may not know who he is, and I don't know who he is, but there's a lot of them out there who only played a couple of times in their whole life and won all your money. Because every day, you're going to these little corner stores and liquor stores and, and, and gas stations to play your little lottery ticket and your little scratch off and your little snippets and pull tabs. Stop, stop. Now you might have a little slush fund where you have maybe 20 to 50 bucks where you say, hey, I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna gamble it because you probably will buy something with that anyway that don't even profit your life. I'm not against that. Maybe you will be lucky, but here, people spend hundreds of dollars on pull tabs. People spend hundreds of dollars on scratch off tickets. People spend hundreds of dollars playing the lottery and they have nothing to show for it. Now, if somebody says, oh man, I hit, I got $2,000. Well, over the course of your 50 year life, how much did you give the lottery? More than $2,000, so that investment was absolutely horrible. Life is not easy and we keep taking the easy road to get where we think we want to be at, but it's not easy. There's only a lucky few that actually profit from just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. And those probably people with people with money, people who passed down money to them, people who left money in their will, people who set up life insurance. But do something with your life and stop thinking that life is easy. Initially, life is hard, life is a struggle. Look at the way we come into this world. Your mother carried you for nine months, most of you. Carried you for nine months. And some of that was beautiful and a lot of that was ugly. And it was a struggle coming out that womb. And that's what I want you to think about it. When you first step out here into the workforce, you step out here into the world, it's a struggle. And you have to gain footage. You have to gain yourself into this life and understand what it takes to be successful. What it takes to be successful, first and foremost, is understand that you're going to work hard. And you have to have knowledge. You have to do your research. This is so many ingredients to this thing. There's so many variables to this thing of how to become successful. I can't just give you one way, but the one way I can tell you is hard work. Get on your grind, due diligence, a hard routine, consistently doing things that are profitable. And none of this really takes money. It's a mindset. You have to be in the right mindset because the right mindset will get you into the right groove of trying to learn new things and understand different types of information. But the first thing you have to do is get off the couch and understand life is hard. It's a struggle, but it will become easy when you do those things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell so every time I release a video, you see it first. This is Ross World. Learn money and be inspired. I'm out.